What's Ronald McDonald's dating advice? Ah, uh, take him to McDonald's on the first date. Caught her, pound her. <laughs> With cheese. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Rachel, and if she was a triangle, she'd be a cute. Ah, the bossy redhead. Yeah, you've got it right. I am perv. Touching event. What is this? Yeah, so stop asking stupid questions. Oh, what is this? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my God, this is a pervert stream. Oh, oh. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you for having me. Now, there may be a few chat up lines sprinkled throughout this because okay. you came over today to play... Koi Koi Love Blossoms, a dating game. Oh. What were your first impressions? Um, it was interesting. Um, the it, the visuals were really nice, actually. Like, it, I actually think he even said it would be nice to go there in person. Like, it was really beautiful. The storyline left a little to be desired. It was really confusing. Um, and also the the style of play like there was a lot of just sitting there clicking through conversation and it was a bit like monotonous yeah for sure yeah oh okay nice oh hello i have to keep pressing how many years has it been since i was last here i tried to retrace my vague memories the only recollections I have of this place are from gazing up at the plum and cherry trees from the open air bath. Ooh. Quite pretty. I wouldn't mind coming here in person. <laughs> Was that the ruffling of me taking my clothes off? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Tom, it's a mixed bath! Oh, sorry. Just making polite conversation. Uh, oh! Why? Now, if you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple. <laughs> Now, the reason I got you over is because you did come over in the PSVR 1 playoffs yeah. and play Focus on You, which yeah, was a yeah. Korean dating game. Um, how did this one compare tonally to that one? Oh, interesting. Um, I feel like uh, the other one felt way more innocent. I feel like this one have had like a lot more heavy-handed, like, this is sexual. <laughs> Like I guess like yeah you're you're playing underage characters so it feels really weird um but you know there was references to me being well endowed and I was like oh like I guess it yeah it's a dating game but it made me feel like oh no 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 It's <laughs> 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 I'm your boss please the bossy redhead. Oh. Oh, and the slender one is Sakura. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Itua! <laughs> Do you mean I brought lots of bags or? Hmm. <laughs> Cause your hair is wet. Can you mean you're wear you're fully clothed? All right, bitch. No. Yeah, I mean, you said it. You're well endowed. You're packing. You're packing yeah. something. There was a point where she kind of bent down towards you to push you in the pool, but it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and freaked out. It's like, what's going on here? And when the girls are like hugging you and they're like so small beneath you and like, ugh, it's just real cringe, real cringe. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about, you know, you've talked about how the game controls. So mm. you don't free roam in this at all. Mm. 
it's just point to point. So it puts you in a point. You can look around everywhere yeah. in 3D space, but you are yeah. theoretically stuck at the point that you are. Which I don't mind in a game. Like I'm not a huge gamer and um, it kind of like reduces the amount of things that are confusing me to just be able to just sit there and like click on what you're supposed to click on. But yeah, there wasn't a lot of variety. You were sort of like, okay, you're sitting in this room and then, oh, we're back out by the hot pool. Oh, now we're back in this room. And you just sat there talking, like, a little bit boring. <laughs> Is this what the developers think women do for a hug? <sighs> okay. I'm ginormous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> the various soft parts of their body. <laughs> Oh god. I should gently embrace her. Well yeah, let's not overdo it. Oh god! What's happening? Okay, she's finally hugging me properly. There there. Okay, it's blooming. Let's talk about the story did you you played two chapters mm -hmm. did it have something were you engrossed i mean yeah i i i'm interested to know what the story writers think is the thing that makes these trees bloom again like there's definitely like a secret mystery that you want to find out but i almost feel like i kind of know the answer already yeah, you just i don't know how many chapters are there yeah, you just gotta I think so. Like in the pool, probably. <laughs> With both of them, which is like, oh, they're sisters. Like, come on. This is a bit like, it's so tropey and like, it just, it feels like it was written for a teenage boy, which it probably was. So I, I, I'm, maybe I'm just not the right audience. Um, but I also am like, oh, maybe a teenage boy isn't the right audience for that either. Like, what are we teaching these people playing this game? <laughs> Yeah, you are definitely right. <gasps> Sakura! Delete this from your vocabulary. Boys will not just be boys. What? What sounds like a taut cord being cut. <laughs> no, no, it sounded like water, guys. Don't worry about it. Got another one, do we? Magical. Okay, so we just need to splash around in the water for a bit. Sick. Yeah, who said I could catch you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one girl is connected to one tree and the other girl's connected to the other tree. Magic. Given the limited stats that I have via my YouTube channel and via what I what I read online and stuff like that, um, the vast majority of PSVR2 owners tend to be male mm. and tend to be over 30. Okay. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, if you're uh, if you're an 18 year old girl uh, playing this, then let me know, but, <laughs> and also let me know. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, give no, me a call. Kieran, no, no. DM, slip into my DMs. <laughs> Cancel him, cancel him. <laughs> no, no, but I'd be interested to see because it's like, yeah. the stats show that it's, it's ba basically an older audience yeah. that play VR. It's an expensive piece yeah. of hardware. Yeah. Um, it does tend, and this is being sexist, it, I think it skews male. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So who is this game for? Yeah, interesting then, because um, why would you spend money making a game if you know that it's going to that particular audience? I just don't see a fully grown man enjoying 
playing that game. Number one. And you went here last night. (laughs) (laughs) Like it's just not, um, I don't feel like that storyline would capture a man in the same way that it interests me. Like is he going to want to know what happens to the trees? Probably not. He's more interested in seeing if at some point the characters get their clothes off, right? But then you think about it, like they're whoa, young. Oh, oh, <laughs> Kieran, what do you think those guys deny. are like? My don't God. Deny. But, like, the, you know, those are young girls and you're playing a young guy, but, like, you're an old guy playing it. It just doesn't doesn't sit right with me. I don't know who they've made it for. <laughs> <laughs> is Itsuha the madam here? Is that what I'm getting? What is she doing? Um, I barely got in a peek. You were wearing towels. What? I just. <laughs> It was, you were wearing towels. It's you. You're literally wearing the same thing right now. Look, the interesting thing about this game, it you can play it flat screen as well, so you can what play it on the TV mean? without the VR. Oh, okay. So you can kind of yeah, and you'll just be at those points and yes, look around with sure. the stick, I believe, and so you yeah. can click on that. So there is there is wider appeal um, that way. Yeah. And the interesting thing on the PlayStation Store in Australia. It ranks the games as in best selling mm-hmm. for I think it's for that month that kind of gives you and it's on page three and there's like ten pages of games so somebody's buying this game somebody's yeah, playing this game but are people buying it in the hopes that it's more than what it is? Yeah, good. Now we're on topic. So I like, yeah, yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Their family business is horticulture. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> so maybe their grandfather fucked something up, broke the trees, and then just didn't want to tell anyone what happened. I think we need to look into your grandfather. My projections, in fact, what are your projections? What do you think is going on? Yeah, well, I think at some point you have to have a relationship, a sexual relationship with both of the girls. I don't know if separate or together, um, but I'm figuring that the final destination is I mean, maybe that is just them getting married. So, did you just say you're fingering in the final destination? Is that what you said? Is, these, these headphones are just crackling a little bit. That's not what I said, but yeah, I, I, that could be a prediction. Well, in the description of the game, it says that you have to choose which one to fall in love with or both of them. So, well, so in that way, you're either picking the plum tree or the cherry blossom tree to revive because they're each tied to a different tree hey look speaking for the guys out there you are either a plum guy or a cherry guy <laughs> i reckon just go for both if you're gonna go there just go Why not have both. Both? did the grandfather gardener marry the tree that's it the grandfather horticulturalist married the trees had some grandkids they're the grandkids of the trees. Oh, well, you could have fucking told me that earlier. Ay, ay, ay. Do you know what I think? Yeah. This is my, I think they're all dead. I think, I think they all died in the what? storm. I think they got electrocuted in that hot spring and that's what killed the cherry trees. And they've been stuck in limbo and they have to make the love blossom. And when they do that, they'll find out they were dead and they get to go to manga heaven. <laughs> that's my that would prediction. actually be a better storyline. <laughs> <laughs> it's really annoying that I can't see the whole answer. That's a bug. Um... Yeah, I guess that one maybe. 
Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's how you see the whole thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come over here, answers. <laughs> how do I... <laughs> this is so hard. Get the answers up. Okay. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Wait, what happened? What was the reason again? We... Yeah, we cuddled? What is this, Kira? <laughs> oh my god. Ow. What the f***? What has happened? <laughs> Kieran, can you see what I'm seeing? Yeah, yeah. Is this right? <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just do that. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, get up. Is this a preview of my life to, to come? <laughs> what the f Okay, now this is an expensive game for a, a VR. It was like 60 bucks. So yeah, it's it's in the. It had so many things wrong with it, though. Yeah. Like you notice some of the bugs and stuff. Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, wow. It's amazing what. Me yeah, yeah, it's a, it's so yeah. Oh cool. uh, yeah, yep. Okay, so look, we do this at the end of every virtually real. You've got one thumb for game. Was it interesting? Did it play well? How do you feel it? And you've, you've got variants there. And number two, is it worth the money? Would you play it again? Are you interested in seeing where the story goes? Or would you be happy to live, live the rest of your life with never touching that game again? So give me your thoughts. How succinct do I need to be? Well, just, just, just go with the flow. E -e 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much with you. I mean, for, for putting on it, watching you play was pure joy and yeah. possibly even worth, I would have yeah. paid $120 just for the hour yeah. of seeing you interact. But yeah, it's it's not a game for me. It's, it's, it's obviously got an audience and I'm not casting any shade on anybody that enjoys this kind of game. I am. <laughs> there, there, there we have it. You have the wrath of Rachel and the acceptance of Q. Do you know what? You don't even have to put this in if you don't want, but I think a game, the idea of this game is good. I think it's nice that people would be able to find connection in a game, but they made it so creepy and gross. I, I, they just didn't do it right. They didn't do it justice. The memberships are live on the channel now, so if you want to see Rachel's full playthrough of that game, you can join and become a member for a price of a cup of coffee every month. You can see the full playthroughs of everybody that appears on Virtually Real. So please join. You'll help the channel out lots. And all that's left to say is thank you, Rachel, for coming over. Thank you, Kieran, for having me. Dating two girls in a hot spring. Woohoo! Dream you. come true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you at home for watching. Stay virtually real. Bye. So love is like a fart. In if you, what way? Well, if you have to force it, it's probably shit. <laughs> love a poo joke. <laughs>